Soldiers are the only ones who now use this path through the frontline village of Pivdene in eastern Ukraine. In order to reach it, one has to go through trenches and ditches and run as fast as you can through any open areas. All this is aimed to avoid the fire of the Russian-led militants, whose positions are scattered around the village. They fired at us from all around. We fired back and they stopped. Before the law on decommunization was adopted, this town was known as Leninska. Ukrainian soldiers entered it around a month ago. Before that, the settlement was stuck in no man's land. The situation is under our control. We have mounted our defense, dug in, and are fully in charge of the situation in the village. At first, civilians did not leave their homes, but then Milton started destroying the houses one by one. They're burning them down. The whole street has been destroyed. The village is turning to ashes. Ruins are burning and smoldering all around. Soldiers say that, at first, militants destroyed the homes of residents who openly supported the Ukrainian army. Some of the locals moved to occupied Horlivka, others left for the territory controlled by Ukraine. People had farms. You can imagine what it's like. We saw how difficult it was for them to leave it all. Now the militants are carrying out constant attacks so that the few residents left in the village would flee as well. They're also targeting Ukrainian soldiers. The situation is difficult, but it can be controlled. The opponent is constantly firing at us and trying to push us back. Their infantry forces are also attacking us at close range, but our defense is strong. Over a rather short period of time, an entire system of fortifications has been put up around Pivdena. The work in trenches never stops. Some put up shelters, others cover their backs. We built fortifications, laid communication lines, and marked firing lines. We are moving forward, not a step backwards. Meter after meter, we will win back our land. When the night comes, life seems to stop here. The silence is broken only by the crackling of burning tiles. Soldiers stay as quiet as possible to keep their positions disguised from the enemy. Tonight, the enemy is also quiet, and that is even more alarming. This is really alarming. We don't know why they are quiet. They used to shoot with different intensity every night before and tonight they are disturbingly quiet. Service on the front line is always intense, regardless of the enemy's actions. Shelling can occur at any moment. The rare night of silence is over, and in the morning, soldiers and the residents wake up to the sound of gunfire.